guys and welcome back to another season of Encarn's vlogs. Yes, it's a new season and we've got a brand new car right behind us. Hope you all had a great Eid. I especially did and I'm ready to go again, all refreshed. I'm ready to go with some new customization programs that I'm gonna love to share with you guys, especially with the car right behind me. New season, new vlog, brand new car. We've got a new Range Rover 2022 model here. Literally just come from the main dealers and we fitted them with the 23 inch Casanova Baragzai alloy wheels. As you can see, these are our most popular alloy wheels that we do have here at Baragzai. They are designed to fit the Rolls Royce models as well. We have them in 22 inch and also in 23 inch. But these wheels look insane on this car. Well, anyway, that's what I think. That's my views. What do you guys think? Do you think it suits the brand new Range Rover? Comment below and let me know. This is our multi-spoke alloy wheels and it's got the floating center cap as well. So when the car's driving, the Baragzai logo stays in the center. It's still got that Range Rover feel, obviously luxury SUV. Uh, the back end has been changed quite dramatically with the slim lights at the back and uh, the bumper has been changed as well. It's quite slick. Some people don't like this the style, but I actually love it. It started raining as well and I'm gonna get soaked. My hair's already waving, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna carry on with the vlog outside here and get drenched for you guys. But anyway, it's got the extended uh, side skirts on here and it's got a very nice slim side vents going down there. It's not sticking out anything. Not much different from the older model. I like the shape of the, the grille, the nice design in there, and the nice slim lights, of course. And like I said, the major change of this car is the rear end of the car, and I absolutely love it. And the interior, check this out. Look at this beautiful tan interior. Pure luxury SUV, it's stunning. Let me just sit inside, get a nice feel. It's like a business class feel, isn't it? You're sat in a, the Emirates business class. Actually, I think it's probably better than that. Nice contrast. And as you can see, all the high-tech uh, technology in here. I mean, it's endless. If you do want to watch the review on the Range Rover, you can go check them out on YouTube, because I'm not going to be doing one. It's a slick car, awesome, nice design. It's the first one that we've had here at Incarns HQ. And I'm excited to do some modifications on this. And also so excited about the Baragzai customization program. It's awesome, guys. So let's go inside and speak to our designer and show you exactly what we're going to be doing to the Range Rover. Right, okay, first and foremost, I need to sort my hair out because it's been rained on. And it's all flattened out, so I just gotta make sure. Oof, I think the crisp's gone a bit too high now. You gotta look good as a car designer. But talking about Chris, that's what you call a quiff. Dawood, how do you get that quiff so right on point? After um, following your advice and tips. You do, don't you? Now talking about hair, I've mentioned this before. If I wasn't gonna go into the automotive industry, I was gonna become a hairdresser. So I went to college to enroll for hairdressing when I was 16 years old. And unfortunately, they didn't have any space for me. So they said, come back after six months. And uh, I thought, you know what, forget that. The, so my brother was with me, he said, what do you like doing? I said, of course, I like car customization. So I wanna go into cars. So I enrolled on a car bodywork course. But just imagine if I was a hairdresser. I'd be quitting your hair first, mate. I wouldn't let him. Yeah. You imagine all the crazy haircuts in England. <laughs> crazy modified haircuts. But anyway, you finally finished your final year in yeah. car design. Good to have you back now full time. You too. Now you can have some crazy new ideas for car design as well. Now these guys are going to be a dream team when it comes to designing body kits. But anyway, guys, what do you think of the new Range Rover that's outside? They've gone for a very minimalist look. It is a smooth look from the front to the side. But when it gets to the back, I think they've what do you think of the back okay. anyway? They've tried to keep it smooth, but they've uh, given it flares which make it a little bit aggressive. So... I I the question is, do you like I the like, back end of the Range Rover? I think it doesn't match the front, but hopefully we can... Get used to it. Get used to it and we will make it better here. I actually like it. I do. I do like the rear end. I think it's a little bit different. More modern, more futuristic as well. Yeah. But it's still got that luxury Range Rover feel yeah. to it as well. They've not really changed it much from the front. I agree with you, but the back, they have transformed it. Interiors obviously been updated with the new technology as well. But our job here is to transform the car to make it look a little bit more aggressive or subtle. And uh, we have done a few drawings which we're gonna be showing you guys first officially on this vlog. So, uh, Darryl, what do you think of the car? It looks really nice, really classy, beautiful car. Especially the new um, tail lights at the back as well. I like them as well. It's very slick. 
Uh, I'm sure you'll grow. You'll yeah, grow yeah, to it. You so that's why you're not working on the back end of the car, are you? No, no. Because like, you can't connect with it. So you think I, I, I would yeah. work on the front yeah. and let, let, him do the back. let that would work on the back. Yeah. So are you guys ready to see our first preview of our new Range Rover body kit? It's almost there, almost complete. I'd say 95%. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about the side vents of the car, the front bumper, the front end of the car that you're working on as well. So this you know, quick sketch that Sakim has done. What we've uh, decided, we're not going to be replacing any parts, we'll be actually adding on. So we're not going to be taking away the original bumper or taking off the side skirts or the rear bumper, we'll be just adding onto that just so we can enhance the look of the car. We've got a couple of options, well actually we've got three options, haven't we? Yeah. And it'd be nice for you guys to decide and help us choose which option do you think that we should go for. We did get invited to the launch at uh, Land Rover Bradford and uh, I was in Dubai at that time so Sakib went down with Imran and uh, they had a good look at the car and Saki went around, uh, took as many photographs as possible, pictures, videos, yeah. making sure you can see all the fixtures and fittings of the, um, every of, of the parts, every angle of course. So we've got three versions of the front bumper, or shall I say the front add-on. Uh, we've got a, a softer version, a little bit uh, more of an aggressive version and then uh, I'd say a quite aggressive version. Yeah. I know which one I like, but it'd be nice for you guys to comment below and let us know which one you prefer. Uh, ignore the bonnet on this by the way so this has just been added on we're probably not going to be doing the bonnet but anyway this is version one of our Range Rover body kit so this is the version one of our Range Rover front bumper this is the more subtle version uh, this is obviously the original part of the bumper as you can see all the original sensors are still there we're not going to be messing about by taking the bumper off so this is our bad exact signature design over here it gives it that intake racing style look We've got fins on the side, we'll show you in the side view, and we've got a front lower lip that continues all the way across and then back up onto the other side. This is the original front bumper with the LED lights in there, and that's just painted black. And uh, we've got lower LED lights in here, which we might add on probably, we'll decide on that right at the end. We also designed the grill, which we're probably not gonna be manufacturing, but we can show you the design of that. This is our signature Barrexai grill that we do most of our, on our previous Range Rover Vogue and Sport and Villar that we did. But I don't think we'll be doing that. That's just done for design purposes only. We will be doing something on the grill, maybe just a little trim to add on. Uh, but that grill will not be getting manufactured. So that's version one of our uh, bumper, that's softer version. So this is version two. As you can see, it's exactly the same as version one, soft. But then at the bottom, we've got this little fish mouth in the center over here, similar to our Porsche Cayenne body kit. Uh, not as aggressive, of course, but that just gives it that uh, it's slightly more aggressive look. And then we've got the version 3, slightly different, this is probably the most aggressive version that we've got here. It's got a little thing sticking out on the edges, uh, similar to our Sport and Cabaro body kit that we have the front lip. But this is incorporated into the bumper and then we've got these uh, things over here, uh, which make it look quite aggressive. It is slightly more lower, the bumper, uh, probably a couple of inches, but it's uh, exactly the same, again, on the front end, gives it that aggressive look. Uh, we're obviously deciding which one to go for so you've got version one which is a soft version a version two which is a little bit more aggressive and version three which is quite aggressive which is this one so let me know guys comment below and let us know what version you prefer or if there's any changes that we need to make on this before we start obviously rendering it on a, a vehicle and taking it into manufacturing stages and taking it further this will be hopefully all complete by probably early autumn or probably late winter let's see so this is the side uh, it will be having the Casanova alloy wheels on and uh, so this is just a little quick sketch these arches are not going to be incorporated in the body kit we will have wheel arches but just a little trim going across the wheel arch similar to the SVR yeah. but just a little bit more wider yeah. and uh, then we've got the lower door mouldings and side vents so we've got a few designs over here that Saki has just done so we've kind of incorporated the B, the Barad Zai but I think this is my favourite one. What do you guys think from all these designs over here? So this is option one and this is option two. So yeah, can I have a bad exact lettering in there or that one? Well, we'd have to wait till the end guys uh, until it's all complete. That's uh, the front and side view of our new Range Rover kit. Now let's go over to the back end of the car. Now then, Mr. Dawood. Mm -hmm. Right, where are we at then? So what are your thoughts on the new Range Rover? What do you think? I think it looks beautiful. I think it's really classy. It is a classy car, isn't it? Yep. 
not much different to the older version, the front end, I think it looks quite similar. It's just the but do you think we can uh, get this right? I think you're the right man to execute it. Well, thanks to you guys as well, obviously. You know, it's mm -hmm. teamwork, you know, not all credit to me, but yeah, we can, I think together we will pull this off. But like I said, we've got to be very careful because you can end up designing the kit and ruining the car. Uh, you know, it's just one of them things, if you do make a mistake, you just have to go back to the drawing board from the start and start again. So we've got two versions of the back end of the car now. We've got the back bumper diffusers. Now this is a very aggressive look. Got a little air vent in there. It doesn't have exhaust on the back, but it uh, on the car it does it. I think they just drop down, don't they? Got some down pipes. Yeah. I'm not sure about that design. I'm not. I'm not really feeling it to be honest with you. I think it looks from the front. It is. I mean, if you go for the subtle design at the front, at the back, it does look quite aggressive. If we did go for the aggressive bumper, then that would probably work. But I'm not really feeling that. I think basically that's sticking up a little too high. I think we need to side view that and make it just just flow down a little bit more. I don't want it sticking up. I think when it comes to manufacturing, I don't want to like be replacing the whole rear spoiler. I just want something to add on to it. I think I want to keep all that original on this car. Oh yeah. And just oh yeah, look exactly. We don't have all the softer version. And this is the one that I'm probably going to finalise with. We've got a rear diffuser add-on which goes onto the original rear bumper with um, two single exhausts on each side. Uh, I do like that. I think it does suit the car as well. Of course, you've got access to the tow as well, so that's removable. Done the roof spot in black so they, they can show me exactly where it's going to be going because uh, we can colour core all that afterwards as well. So you're probably thinking why is it all black? Uh, that's just for design purposes only. So this is our new Range Rover 2022 Bad Excite body kit. We're probably the first tuning company in the UK to design a body kit. I know it's not manufactured totally but this is our design idea and hopefully within a space of six months we should have it on a car all complete ready to show you in flesh and i'm looking forward to that challenge these guys are going to be working hard endlessly day and night hopefully yeah. um, getting it all finished doing our 3d renders on the car once it's been scanned and then we'll take it all the way to our manufacturing stage it'll be manufactured in uh, carbon fiber and then let's see if we do a, a version two of it i don't know you just have to stay tuned but it's definitely gonna have the casanova alloy wheel Bad Excite wheel collection fit on the new Range Rover, our 22 inch Dawn, 22 inch Opium, 23 and 22 inch Casanovas, which is my favorite for this car, and the 24 inch Majestic and the 24 inch XL. They do all fit on the new Range Rover. Anyway guys, crack on with this. Hopefully we should have this complete in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So let's go in the workshop and see what's going on. So while we're on the note of the Land Rover Range Rover, it's on the fifth generation. So the first generation was manufactured in 1970. And if you want to view one of the first Land Rover Range Rovers coming off the production line, it's on show at the Land Rover Center in Huddersfield. Yeah, Chazzy number one. It's only about 10 miles away from us. Then came along the second generation, which was manufactured in 1994. Then we had the third generation in 2001. But it had a facelift in 2009. And this was when Barak Zai officially made one of his first body kits on the Land Rover Range Rover. We designed a very nice body kit for it and we call it the classic Range Rover body kit by Baragzai. We had the front bumper which was quite aggressive with big air intakes at the front, a front grille, side skirts, rear bumper with letterbox style exhaust tape. It was a very popular body kit and had a roof spoiler as well. The first one I ever did was uh, for a good friend of mine. We actually had it filmed on a series called Bradford City of Dreams on BBC One. That looks sick. That looks sick. alright, isn't it? Yeah, looks alright. Let me yell. That looks sick. Mob. We made a mold of uh, this design now. It's our own brand. Nav's calling his new brand of body kits after his clan name of Barakzai. And after the success of that body kit, we had the fourth generation Range Rover, which was launched and manufactured in 2012 stroke 13. And uh, yeah, we had an amazing body kit design program for that as well. We had two versions of body kits on that. We had the wide edition and the non-wide edition. And then we had the facelift that came along and we continued that same body kit onto the facelift model as well. And it is very aggressive. But now I'm gonna calm it down. I'm gonna start toning down my body kits a little bit. And uh, now, it's the fifth generation, 
nice and subtle sleek Range Rover is launched here and obviously you've seen our new body kit but I have subtled it down quite a lot gone a little bit more simpler I'd say rather than more aggressive on my normal aggressive approach that I've had I'm looking forward to manufacturing the body kit for the fifth generation Range Rover which is out right now and uh, I hope you guys like the designs if there is anything that you think we need to change on there it'll be nice to have your feedback coming out of the workshop we have got a lot of Range Rovers in we've got a full color change on this Range Rover Sport Barak Zai we've done over here. It was uh, black originally, but we've painted it fully in a velvet purple. And uh, this is gonna look very nice once it's outside in the sun. We've got the facelift Range Rover Sport over here. Talking about Range Rover Sports, I got pictures of the Range Rover Sport originally, well before it was launched, which was launched last week. And uh, I got uh, private pictures from the factory. Someone like me, of course, knowing me, I've put it onto Instagram and posted it and just letting the world know that this is a new Range Rover Sport that's coming out in the next few months. And then anyway, that evening, I got a phone call from Land Rover UK and I'm wondering how did they get my number? Well, it's not hard to get my number. So I got a phone call from Land Rover UK asking me very politely if I could remove the post. And obviously reason being because they've not launched the car themselves. And if I did do that, they would uh, invite me to the launch of the Range Rover Sport. And if there's anything else that I wanted, they would uh, happily assist me. I took down the post, an honest businessman. And I thought I'd do a lot of work with Land Rover, of course, so why not? So I took it down and I was just waiting for this phone call. True to the word, they never called me. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've got the new Range Rover Sport on order, so I'm looking forward to that, the SVR model, which will be launching as well very soon. But my name is down for a new Range Rover. So uh, hopefully if Land Rover are watching this, especially the guy that called me, maybe I should get the Range Rover Sport first. Why not guys? Comment below, let, us, let them know I should get the Range Rover Sport first because I'm gonna do something crazy to that, trust me. You know, that's my iconic car and that's the signature car for Baragzai. And when it comes to Range Rover Sport, crazy stuff. I'm gonna do some crazy designs on that. I'm gonna have a, probably a subtle version. Uh, and then I'm gonna have a really aggressive wide arch version as well. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands onto that Range Rover Sport, <sighs> especially the SVR model. <laughs> generation Range Rover we've got over here and we do uh, the SVO body kits for it as well if you do have a Range Rover that's 2013 all the way to 2021 we can fit an SVO body kit for you and we can do that in one day SVO kit consists of the front bumper low door molding side vents rear bumper quad exhaust very nice body kit cost efficient for a Range Rover So the Queen is celebrating her platinum jubilee she's the first British monarch to serve the country for 70 years now that deserves a round of applause. Well done to the Queen. She's a big fan of Range Rovers. Just like me, she has a love for Range Rovers. She joined the army in World War II and she served as a mechanic. She was in the same industry as I am in, in the automotive industry, and that's an honor to share with the Queen. But she has a love for Range Rovers, and the first Land Rover that she had was a Series 1, a nice classic Land Rover. Throughout her 70 years of service, she's had many Range Rovers. Some of them been customized as well with open tops so she can go on processions and wave at people. She's personally driven around in a few herself. One of the videos that went viral when uh, Meghan and Harry had a few issues and she was driving around in a Range Rover looking very angry. But anyway, she hasn't had uh, a Range Rover that's been customized with a Barak body kit on, unfortunately, but who knows? I'm surely she'll be having the new Range Rover Series 5 and it'll be a pleasure if the Queen is watching if you want your car customising please it'll be an honour to customise your car there's also a fact which I want to share with you the Queen is the only person in the UK that doesn't need a driving licence or a registration plate on her car now I'd like to see a police officer pulling her over So just imagine what I can do to the Queen's Range Rover. First of all, I put the new Barak Zai Range Rover body kit on that we're designing on her car and uh, customize the flag on the bonnet. Of course, the Queen needs a flag when she's in uh, driving the car around or being chauffeured around. She needs a British flag on the bonnet. I'll make sure the car's bulletproof uh, for security reasons, of course. It's very important that the Queen is safe. I definitely put the 24 inch Majestic alloy wheels. Firstly, because the name, obviously Majestic. The wheels do have a royal design with a pattern. And uh, I personally think the Queen would like the Baragzai Majestic wheels from all the Baragzai collection. She'd personally choose them. That's what I think anyway. We'd have to make the car into a convertible, 
or definitely have a glass roof, panoramic roof that opens up fully so when she's in procession or she's going on these events, she can stand up and uh, wave at all her fans and her followers. And uh, yes, definitely have side steps on there. The Queen is quite short, so I would definitely put side steps on the car for her so she can get into the car easily. And inside, oh, it's got to be luxurious. So talking about that, the Queen's security guard is here to take the car right, away. Right. And uh, he is a personal uh, security guard for the Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And uh, we'll be customising her new Range Rover that she'll okay. probably be gifted from Range Rover. Oh, right. is she doing it? She well, she's had a lot of Range Rovers. Oh, right. okay. Throughout her 70 year service, the most cars that she's ever owned are Range Rovers. Lovely. But anyway, any message to the Queen? What do you think? Have a great day, love. Have a great day, love. Your car's all customised, sir. Job. Beautiful job. Fit for the Queen, fit for the King. Fit. Are you happy with it? Fit for the Queen. <laughs>a nice summer's day summertime of course as well and uh, let's give away these bad eye shades which are also available on the bad eye store so if you do want to buy any bad eye accessories you can visit our bad eye website but the question is what is the name of our bad eye fourth generation range rover body kit you gotta answer what is the name of that in comments below you can win yourself a pair of these bad eye sunglasses they do come in different colors of course they come in a clear uh, blue lens and uh, brown frame. That's the competition guys and uh, we've done some crazy conversions on Land Rover Discoveries, G-Wagons, Range Rover Sports and especially looking forward to showing you our new Range Rover body kit once it's complete. But thank you for watching guys and stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because once we hit 50,000 subscribers we're going to be giving away £1,000 in cash. Thank you for watching and stay safe and I'll see you on the next vlog.